So today we're going to be talking all about the nervous system and how it can really hinder us from leading and achieving in our divine purpose and mission. So when you think about the nervous system, you usually think like contraction, you think of fight, flight, freeze, fawn response, but you might not think about how this is directly correlated to how you're leading or how you're performing in your reality. The subconscious usually takes about 90% of our day. So our habits, our circadian rhythm, the things that we do on autopilot, the ways that we respond with body language, all of these things are connected to um, our primal responses. So when you process that and you think about, okay, if I can focus on this 90% is affecting my every day, like how do we get to the root? So with that, the the power of understanding your fight flight freeze and fawn responses are great so let's start off with flight so the flight response it's usually correlated to like your amygdala your um parasympathetic nervous system where everything in your body is revving up so it's like one of your responses is you might fly or you might run away from a relationship or you might run away from a situation or you might run away from confrontation and whenever you're leading and you're trying to achieve and perform highly in your calling and your mission this cannot happen because as you're leading you're teaching all the people that are coming with you to run away and not confront their stuff as well so the second part is freeze. So of having a freeze, a physical freeze response is something to where you might be holding on to physical energy somatically within your body. So soma means body. So somatically you're feeling it and you're not choosing to kind of like take a leap. You're not choosing to allow yourself to experience stuff because you're in a free state. So your body just chemically goes pretty much it goes it goes off like it just stops it freezes it shuts down completely you check out checking out is a great word you get into a point where it might be you're frozen for a few days you might be frozen for like a few days a few months or even a few years just because of the fact that you don't know the signs that are telling you that you're in a freeze state and so with freezing that can stop you from really stepping into your calling leading in your mission achieving in your purpose um and then on top of that systemically like we're taught to hide and shrink and essentially freeze who are we are and our actual identities from the world because colonization and all this stuff tells us that we aren't worthy for being who we are so different indigenous cultures and different like lineages were told that they weren't worthy for millennia like for so long that we've just picked up on that freeze response so anytime we start second guessing ourselves anytime we think that we need to be able to like show up and be who we are and like tap into that um that can we just don't do it because it's easier to hide um, and then moving on to fight, you know, you get buck, you get wild, you get crunk, you get ready to fight people because you're like, hey, I'm not having this. I'm not standing for this. Be but from an emotional intelligence standpoint, when you're leading a group of people or when you're trying to achieve and perform highly, that will probably cause more stress if you're just wilding out. Like you kind of have to know, OK, when am I fighting in a strategic way? What am I doing in this in a healthy way for me long term, for my lineage long term? And then also, when am I able to just notice when I'm getting triggered, what's triggering me and why things are like so big? You know what I mean? Um, so that's the fight response. And then the fawn response is, I mean, some people say that it's real or not, but I, I, I'm down with it. The fawn response is all about people pleasing and like you know that whole idea of shrugging your shoulders down and putting your head down and really being in a in a people pleasing state where you're just being a yes man or a yes woman and constantly just saying yes to everything and kind of like giving yourself a sense of self betrayal giving your sense a self of what i need is the sacrifice and you can't do all that with leadership like you have to in order for you to lead in your calling and do your mission some things need to be cleared out right so the reason I talked about these four areas was because I wanted to really, you know, dive more into the nervous system and help you understand how the nervous system affects us as a woman of color, 
that are wanting to achieve and lead in our societies, in our communities, in our homes. Um, your nervous system talks to you all the time. It tells you what it needs. It tells you like what in the world has been you've been carrying for years, months, decades, or whatever. So before we continue, I wanted to talk about my three-month Sacred Feminine Leadership Immersion Program. It is three months of really diving into, you know, leading and achieving in everything under the sun that is out of alignment, that is a part of a system that does not serve you anymore, to really diving into leading and achieving in the woman that you're meant to be. And um, a lot of the topics that we talk about, like today, how we're talking about the nervous system, talking about colonization, really connecting with the feminine, healing the fact that you've been in your masculine energy a lot of the times, especially as ambitious women, we tap into a lot of different subjects to really allow you to start leading in your calling and your mission. Because a lot of the time, self-sabotage, procrastination, perfectionism, fear, uh, colonization work, um, stress, health, all these different things that come up systemically are things that are affecting our abilities to lead in our communities, our homes, and in, in the world as a whole. So if this resonates with you, feel free to book a sales call with me and we will dive deeper into the three-month program. All right, let's continue. So one of the best ways to start when it comes to the nervous system is really just noticing and being aware of like what is happening to my body. How am I breathing? What things are making me activated? Like what makes me um, feel heightened emotions? What makes me feel exhausted? When do I feel relaxed? Who do I feel safe around? What do I feel safe around? Girl, that one when you don't even know what the element of safety is from like a personal standpoint, but also from a lineage standpoint, but also from a systemic standpoint, it's just like, of course you can't be doing anything that you're wanting to do because you're not feeling safe. You're either not feeling safe in rooms that you're going into where people aren't like you. Um, you're not feeling safe in environments where things are constantly trying to bring you down. Um, you're not feeling safe enough to just show who you are and be yourself to yourself. So how will you be able to lead a whole group of people? How will you be able to achieve in your calling at a high level state, a high performance state where you're optimally healthy, you're optimally well? Um, it doesn't it doesn't work that way. You have to you can't you can't just decide I want to make one hundred thousand dollars or I want to make a million dollars or I want to be at the seat suite of a company or I want to own one hundred and forty acres or I want to. It doesn't work that way. You actually have to do the other stuff um, in order to call in this new stuff. So one exercise that I have for you today is just go ahead and notice throughout the week. When. Am I feeling highly activated? Like, when do I feel high levels of anxiety and stimulation? And when do I feel relaxed in my environment? And that's it. Um, that's all that you got to do this week. Because the thing is, we think we have to do so much to get to a goal. But that's what we've been taught systemically. We've been taught we have to do so much to get so much. But that's not true. You actually have to do less to know what you're doing to shift those things in increments, and then you'll do more, you know? Um, so yeah, that's all that I got for today in this video. Again, if you feel called, f feel free to book a sales call with me for the Sacred Feminine Leadership Immersion, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.